start with some of those comments made by Eden Duale, and he says that the CJ, Willie Mutunga, as the head of the judiciary and, uh, you know, the, the judiciary in Kenya, should first of all step aside. Your comments on that, sir? Uh, thank you, Mike. The comments by the leader of majority. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, the comments by the leader of majority are very natural in nature in the sense that uh, if there is corruption allegation against an institution which you are heading, the most natural thing to do is to step aside. But again, in this case, uh, the corruption allegations are specific in nature. They are specific against a particular judge and not the entire judiciary. In my view, Honorable Justice Mutunga has done a good job as a chief justice. The only problem is that uh, he has failed to provide leadership in the judiciary. Okay, um, and what sort of leadership would you have had him provide in the judiciary? Uh, this is a critical moment in the Kenyan judiciary because of transition. When you hear a chief justice saying that uh, the republic or Kenya is a bandit economy, and by extension judiciary itself is being led by bandits, then that is an indictment in the leadership of the chief justice, and also it's an indictment of the very institution in which he is leading. All right, then, aren't you contradicting, contradicting yourself in that? You say that he has done a good job in terms of leading the judiciary, but at the same time, uh, he has not provided leadership. I mean, isn't that doublespeak? Uh, I'm speaking in two ways. As a person, the Chief Justice, uh, there, is, there is no indictment or there is no allegation of corruption against him. But as an institution of the office of the Chief Justice, he has failed to provide the leadership or he has failed to live up to the standard or the requirements of that particular office. Okay. And, and, uh, and just... Mm -hmm. uh, the Chief Justice in any event has indicated that he's going to resign or he's going to step uh, aside before his term. So by June this year, he will be able to have left that office. Okay. In your view as a lawyer, uh, what would be the way to rectify the, the tainted uh, uh, perception of the judiciary currently, especially given that we're in 2016 and we're going into the elections next year? The only way to rectify the image of the judiciary is to have a clean sweep that the old judicial leadership, the leadership at the top from the Chief Justice and the Supreme Court has to be reverted or have to be taken through a cleaning process in what Justice Ringera would call a surgery to weed out these particular uh, bad apples within uh, the judiciary. Okay, now we recently had uh, the vetting that was done on, in the judiciary and some judges even lost their jobs based on the fact that uh, they were not viewed to be uh, judges who could sit in that particular forum or in that high court. Now, has this borne any fruits given what we have in our hands today as a country? To some measure, uh, it has borne, there are some fruits which we can celebrate because of the process of vetting and the competitive process of uh, nomination of judges and magistrates into these particular offices. Uh, however, I must admit that uh, the process itself, to some extent, were tainted by, I could say, uh, political interference. So in the new process now, which need to be, the judiciary need to solve such and get them back into, is to have a very objective process whereby the end results is going to be for the benefit of the judiciary and the Republic of Kenya. All right, Moses, now we do know that uh, ju Judge Tunoy is to appear before the special committee set uh, aside. What, what should we expect out of that sitting today? Uh, the committee of the Judicial Service Commission is a special committee just to look into these particular allegations against the Honorable Justice Tunoy. Uh, it's not going to conduct a trial 
because they're just going to make uh, an inquiry into the specifics of these allegations by Jovri Kiplagat. And then after that, the committee will be able to make now recommendation to the full uh, commission so that the commission can make a determination whether or not to recommend the president to, to be able to constitute a tribunal or not. So for now, it is quite a preliminary stage of investigation that the outcome would not uh, really be a substantive outcome on the fate of the Honorable Justice Tunoi. All right, thank you very much. That is lawyer Moses Chelanga at our INM studios, and we're just reflecting on some of the issues that bedevil the judiciary currently. And just a reminder that today, Judge Tunoi is to appear before the special JSC committee, and uh, as he says, uh, it's still a very early stage for us to expect anything out of it. It's just the beginning of the investigations. Now, this is where we're going to wind up News Hour, but do stay with us at exactly 9 o'clock. We've got News Truck coming up. A very good morning, my name.